I was in a position where I needed a place to live. And it was super hard. I was looking around for weeks, getting kind of panicky about whether I was going to be able to find a place to live. So I got pretty excited when I saw in Craigslist an ad for a progressive, vegetarian, cooperative living, free spirit house. Because I thought to myself, I live cooperatively. I was a vegetarian. I'm progressive and I'm a free spirit. So I, um, so I made the call and I set up an interview and I really actually have serious street cred when it comes to all those things. I do. I made incredible efforts, particularly when I was in college, to do all the things that would make me look and sound like a progressive, cooperative, vegetarian type. I only shopped at thrift stores. As some of you know, I grew the armpit hair out. I listened to CSN. That would be Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, I worked at the food co-op, which is you know, cooperatively owned, everything smells like cumin. <laughs> you know, the most popular dish was the tofu spread. So I really worked very hard on this image. So I thought I was a shoe in So I'm headed over to the interview, throw on my Birkenstocks, my Free Mumia t-shirt, my fair trade Guatemala purse, I had all the accoutrements. I was ready. I get to this house, the Hobart house. It's been a group house for 30 years. I'm not joking you. I walk in and in the living room, they are having an anti-war meeting. There's a drum circle. I walk in the door, I walk to the kitchen. There are bulk legumes. There's a woman sorting loose tea. Herbal. There's a sign on the bathroom door. If it's yellow, let it mellow. I was like, I am in. I know this. So we sit down. We start doing the interview. And I've, I've got them. They love me. They're asking me questions. I feel like they want to be my best friend. I start dropping names. Now, not like famous names, but I start dropping names of my friends who are environmentalists and activists, and they're like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and they know them, so I'm really thinking I'm way, way in. Until they ask the fatal, fatal question. The question was, so, do you eat meat? Now, there was a time where I, when I was a vegetarian, but just that morning, I had eaten a delicious and juicy shawarma sandwich. If you don't know what shawarma is, shawarma is the meat of all meats. Shawarma is on a rotating rack that's about five feet high, and the way to get the meat off is to rev up an electric saw. <laughs> you saw off the meat. So, this is for reals, some meat. <laughs> and it was delicious. And I don't know what happened. I had a major mental break because my imagination wandered off to that morning. And I was imagining all the smells and flavors. And so instead of saying something intelligent, what I did instead was say, well, I used to be a vegetarian, but, and then I did a dance, and I went, it tastes so good sometimes. <laughs> and I'm down here like, mm, 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 mm. having a little meat party. <laughs> and I stopped. And I'm still kind of down here in my little meat world. <laughs> and I realize I've made a bad mistake. I have stuck my foot deeply, deeply into my mouth. And I take a breath. 
and I slowly look up, and what I see are the startled faces of five very serious vegetarians. You could not hear anything but the sound of the hacky sack dropping to the ground. <laughs> I was pretty sure I didn't get that space. I walked out of the house, kind of gloomy, feeling like I'd really lost my last chance to get a room that I desperately needed. But I kind of also decided at the same time that the cost was just too high, that I really, I had spent so many years trying to fit into that image and wear all the costume, and I realized that I was pretty ready to let go of all that and be whoever I just needed to be. And you know what, I realized also that it was gonna take a lot of effort to reach their moral high ground. And for that, I would need some sustenance. So I decided, <laughs> I decided to go to Ben's Chili Bowl for a chili double half smoke. <laughs> Can you do double? Thank you.